What's up guys, it's me, it's me, it's Remy D, back for another episode of Farming Simulator 17 on the PS4. Today we have another episode of uh, Towing and Recovery. Um, today we have a different, a little bit of a different job again. Um, it is still the same day as last episode. Uh, it's now uh, 11.30 in the afternoon. The rain has started coming down, um, but hopefully we can get this job done nice and safely, easy peasy. Um, what happened was we have an Armenian guy, some Armenian guy called us, said he's got a shipment of vehicles that just arrived on the train. He needs them unloaded and delivered um, in a hurry. So what we're going to do is we're going to place our money box. We're going to get the job done as quickly as possible for him. Uh, where's my money box? Perfect. Alright, so we got that place. Now I'm going to increase the time to 30 times. Actually, I'm going to get my uh, get my truck ready. Get my truck ready first and then start the box before we roll out. Shouldn't take long. The truck's right here. I'm going to throw the old lights on today because it's, uh, it's not a nice day. It's a rainy day. We'll roll out here, pick up our trailer. And we will go get to work and see what this guy is up to with these vehicles. Not sure. Now we'll increase the time now. Perfect. Off we go. Off we go. Through the gates. Uh, let me just double check. Where am I going again? Oh yes, it's not far. It's right around the corner. It's all coming back to me now. Both sets of train tracks actually run right beside my uh, right beside my shop. So anytime we have these train deliveries or anything like that, it's going to be easy peasy. Um, so here we go. I got to turn right in here. It's not too far at all. He wants them delivered in town though, at the uh, near the store. Um, so we'll get that done for him. Now what I'm going to do. Hopefully the other train's not scheduled to come by. <laughs> nice. All right. So first I'll start with the what looks to be a pick like a pickup here. I'll start with that. We're gonna have to jump into the crane, unload these vehicles as best we can. Um, I will lower my ramps just in case I need to adjust something. I might not be able to place these perfectly on. Um, but in the interest of time, I'm going to try to just, uh, if I have to, I'll just roll them up. Run them up the, the trailer if I have to. So now if I can remember how to do this. <laughs> I'll bring this crane over. I am a crane operator. Uh, we are trained for this. <laughs> Not really. As you can see by my skill handling the crane. I don't have the most experience at this, but... I think I'll be able to pull it off. Uh, oh, it looks like I got a hold of it already. Now, is that going to be enough to squeeze it out? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. So far, so good. Now, we just got to bring it over. We don't want to drop them. Do not want to drop them. This guy's paying us a lot of money for this job, so we gotta make sure we do it right. Now, are you lined up at all? Not really. Whoops, other way. Whoopsie. There we go. Back here. Back here. There you go. And I'm just gonna kinda place you down there. Perfect. Pull this back up, like so. Now the other car, I should be able to just, uh, I'll bring the crane over. We'll yank him off there. This is a nice car. Nice. Lizard Road Rage. Very cool. Um, so far so good with the crane. We got one down, one to go. Um, unfortunately, it is Remy D and Sun towing, so it's only a matter of time before something goes horrendously wrong. Um, who knows, maybe it'll be in the transport. I'm just, I'm expecting something at some point, you know. Um, and again, I'm grabbing them right by the butt. <laughs> right by the butt. Alright. 
but hopefully it'll work. We'll see. Does that squeeze it in? No, that's just opening it. Do I have it? Do I have it? I don't think I have it. I may have squeezed too hard. Oh, 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 oh man. This is shady. This is shady at best. Oh my god, don't drop the lizard road rage, dude. Do not drop the lizard road rage. Oh no. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, not further. Okay, come on back. Take your time, take your time. Man, we are playing with fire here. Who is this crane operator? This guy's crazy. Whoa! No! Okay, we got this. It's cool. We got this. It's all good. It's all good. I'm just going to snap a quick... Oh, I was going to take a screenshot. Oh, well. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright, job well done. I knew it was only a matter of time before something uh, went wrong. So now I'm going to just line these vehicles up a bit. Um, organize the trailer. And we'll be on our way. Another successful job. Oh man, I hope there's not too much damage to the road rage. Sorry about that. Ah, good old Remy D and Sun towing. Unbelievable. Alright, it's cool. We're getting the job done. We're getting the job done. Come on. And it's only taken us a couple of hours. What time did we leave? Like 11.30? It's only 2 o'clock. It's about a two and a half hour job. Um, so far anyway. Right, now we'll see if we can get this loaded up safely. Get those up. <laughs> oh man, what am I doing to your car, sir? This Armenian guy is not going to be happy with the level of service he received today. And honestly, he should not be. But you know what? You, you, again, once again, our motto is you get what you pay for. We don't... We <laughs> You don't get what you pay for. We charge out the out the nose. And you get the worst service ever seen in Goldcrest Valley. But... <laughs> whatever, man. Whatever. Look at this. We're, to we're getting there. We're getting them back there. Hey, we're, we're dealing with weather here too. So, I mean... It's... I mean... You can't expect perfection out of us, so we're going to rip back down here. We're going to go past the shop, bring him down to the store, or at least near the store. I think he wants them delivered. Um, <laughs> job well done so far. There's the shop. Looking good, I think. Looking good. I'm going to take a left in here. Perfect. Down to the main road where we will take a right there we are he wants me to drop him off in the back I don't know what this guy's up to I really don't know what he's up to we're just here for the money um, basically we're not we're not here to ask questions so I'm gonna drop these off the back door behind the shop somewhere behind the garage uh, maybe I'll turn here I should be able to get that done through here In this corner and yeah okay he said there was another vehicle all right so right near here I got gotcha. you I'll move in here watch out people watch out Remy D and son on the road here you guys got to be careful so we'll back it up here perfect We'll unload these here, we'll head back to the shop, we'll call it a day. That'll probably it. That'll probably be it for today. As it is getting on to three shortly after three. We'll jump into the car here, we'll pull him out. We'll leave him behind the building as as he wanted, in the alleyway behind the shop. Whatever, man. Whoopsie. And run over some boxes. It's cool. Perfect. There's your vehicle, sir. There's your vehicles. Oh, he should be happy with that. I'll turn the lights back on. Lift those and head on back to the shop. 
it is now 3.30 in the afternoon. We'll see what time we get back at. I'm sure it'll be our last job of the day though. We'll make it an, an easy day. Quick and easy. Let's skip to this view for a bit. There we are. Stop sign. Who needs stop signs? Whoa. Took that corner a little quick. All good. All good. This is, uh, what is this, episode 9 of Towing and Recovery? Um, episode 10, I'm not sure what's going on yet. I have not lined it up yet, uh, but I will. But I will. I'm going to try to um, jump between the Towing and Recovery and Chellington Farm series. I have the two series on the go right now. Um, and what I'm going to do is try to keep up with both of them at the same time for you, for anybody who's paying attention. <laughs> Uh, here we go, back in the shop now. I'll pull my trailer over here. Not a nice day, not a nice day at all here. And what this is going to do actually, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the rain actually washes your vehicles. So that'll save me that. Drop you there, perfect. We'll get him back into the garage. Where he'll be nice and safe for the evening. Whoops, maybe I'll try to Keep an eye on where the, oh my god. Keep an eye on where the door is. There you go, oh my good lord. This is embarrassing at this point. Good old Remy D and son. Up to their usual tricks. There we go, get out of there. Close the door, sell the box, head her home. Call it a day. Lovely. There we go. Perfect, the box is sold. We'll bring the time scale back down to real time because I'm not going to be making money and I don't want time to go by too fast. Although, I might be, end up skipping through now the rest of the evening next to tomorrow morning since we are heading home for the day. Jump into the pickup truck. That was a good first day at the new shop. We made some money. Uh, we got some vehicles delivered. Not necessarily, we didn't bring them back for storage at the shop, but it's cool. We got them delivered, we made some money. It's all good in the hood. Off we go. If I can remember what street my new house is on. I can't remember where the new house is. Oh, I might have... Uh-oh. Uh-uh-uh. Is it over here? Yeah, there it is. There's my house. I remember now. <laughs> nice. Oh, watch the fence. Watch the fence. Oh, my good lord. This is a mess. There we go. Hi honey, I'm home. Perfect, so we're home for the day. Another good day's work. Um, thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Thanks for tuning in to episode 9 of Towing and Recovery. Make sure to, episode, uh, <laughs> make sure to tune in for episode 10. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe uh, for more videos. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.